Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. It's 100% my fault. I will take blame. I do. I did want to talk and write about discrimination that I feel that sex workers are facing on social medias. And even though me getting my Instagram deleted was 100% my fault, a drunken mistake, I still stand by that we get discriminated on and it's unfair. So I don't know, just one day I was at my friend Kirill's warehouse. He owns the company Assholes Live Forever. So we always just do crazy stuff and take dope pictures together. And I was just like in a like a phase of liking to shotgun white claws. And so <laughs> I think I shotgun like five or six because we were doing cool videos with it. And I was just so drunk. I just got on Instagram live and I kind of was like had this mindset that I was invincible. I could do whatever I want. I was just very intoxicated. Like I wouldn't have done this if I was sober, but I basically just like pulled my titties out. I had my top up the entire time and I was like, deep throating their like giant black dildo and I had them pour like white claw down the dildo into my mouth and it was just so bad and embarrassing and then me being drunk like I posted it to Instagram TV afterwards I went on my story and I was like guys like I'm still here like I may be fucking the CEO of Instagram like I'm here to stay and the next day I woke up I was deleted and everyone was like I know a lot of people celebrated me getting deleted or like felt like I deserved it. And I definitely did. But I feel like everything that I was posting up until then, like pictures where you could see my nipples and stuff, I genuinely felt like I was fighting for something like nipple equality. Like I don't find it fair that guys can just post shirtless pictures and like girls can't do the same or post like artistic kind of nude photos. So I kind of just felt like that was unfair. And I know that Instagram, like, can put like confirm that you're 18 and older on people's pages. So I'm like, why can't you do that for us instead of just deleting everything? And then at this point, it's like, it's random things get deleted. Like I've had a story of my dinner get deleted. It's like, who's actually, I don't feel like a real person is actually checking these things. Mm. And a lot of my posts now get deleted for spam, which I don't even know what that means. Like, how is this spam? So it's really, really frustrating. And I definitely wanted to talk about that in the magazine that I feel like we do get discriminated on. I see a lot of really popular models and Instagram models post like basically nude photos or get away with more than we're allowed to get away with. And on TikTok, I get a lot of TikToks taken down. I see other people doing the exact same trends. So it's just very, very frustrating. And it's like, there's nothing you can do. You just have to press like, accept and next and then it's like your page may be deleted and it's like okay like thanks <laughs> just keep going on about my day but it's very scary I spent a long I spent years building up that account I had two million followers I was verified um but Instagram had to release a statement basically saying I wasn't getting any preferable treatment because people really thought I was fucking the CEO and that's how I got away with things but to me it was always such a joke that I thought people would understand it was a joke, but there was like news articles that came out like Kendra Sunderland, Instagram deleted from uh, claims she's sleeping with CEO and all these things. And it was just such a big mess. <laughs> That's my life. But, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're absolutely not right. The discrimination that sex workers face on social media is crazy. I mean, even I, and I'm pretty fucking careful about what I post. Like I'm 100% shadow banned yeah. and people have a hard time finding me and I'll get like, lately I've noticed I've gotten really low engagements on my posts, even though my follower count has grown and I don't, I don't have 2 million followers, but I have 440, 400,000, like over 400,000. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll get like, barely any engagement on my posts. And I'm like, I know that, you know, people aren't seeing these and, you know, one can say, oh, well, you know, these are private companies, Twitter and, and Instagram and Facebook, you know, so they can make up whatever rules they want. And it's like, yeah, but the way that the society has changed now, the way the internet has changed, like social media is a huge part of 
are promotional tools and advertising and it's money. Like being able to post and promote your yourself and your content on these profiles directly affects your income. So if they take that away from you, then like, how are sex workers supposed to make a living? Yeah, it's super unfortunate too. I mean, it's cool. Like if you have rules, that's fine. Whatever. I agreed to it when I signed up, but like make those rules apply for everyone. Like it's not yeah. fair. Like, like Kendall Jenner can post, like she's practically nude, but just cause she's not showing her vagina or nipples, like it's okay. Like it's not, it's not fair. Like you need to keep it fair all around if you're going to have rules and what, what's the point of rules if you're not going to like make them apply to everyone. So it's unfortunate. And I just wish like, I don't know, I wish they were more fair about it. And it sucks. Like nobody, like if I post like a lifestyle photo or something of me doing something I'm passionate about, like when I went skydiving, like nobody cared, nobody liked it. But like, if I'm practically naked, like that gets all the likes. I'm like, that's cool. Like I understand I do porn, like that's the life I chose, but like, come on people, like at least make me feel like you give a crap when I do something I'm passionate about instead of just caring about my butt or my titties. And like, Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.